What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Vidzy. Oh, I've been away for a little while, but I'm back and we got a video going on. <laughs> So I just wanted to give you guys a little update of what's been going on. I'm stuck in New York right now, uh, and everyone, my whole car club, everybody is out at Ocean City, Maryland, and having a ball uh, during H2OI. I have some, obviously, work things that are going on right now in my life. Uh, we got promoted, and uh, you know I've had a lot more work to do in the last couple weeks, so that's why I had to take last week off. And that's why we're actually pushing our winter schedule, our new winter schedule, to Sundays as opposed to Fridays like I had originally uh, mentioned. So you guys do get a video today, so hope you guys are glad to see me again. I wanted to take today to kind of give you guys an update of what's been going on with the cars um, and what some of the decisions that I've made over the last couple weeks. So let's head downstairs, let's go to the cars. Let me show you exactly what's going on. So my new job is literally right down the road now. So I don't necessarily need Project Audi. But since I got it for such a cheap price, I think I may still do something with it. You guys can take a look directly behind me. There's some boxes back there. And that is new wheels for Project Mark 7. I decided to move to a winter wheel setup as opposed to adjusting the height, yes, this and that. Um, because I'm not going to run the current wheels that are on the car, the MRRs, next year for, uh, you know, next car season. And it's starting to get a little bit colder here in New York. It's like in the 50s in the morning. So I'm going to show you what I got. They are OEM replicas. Um, and the reason why I got a replica as opposed to the actual OEM one is because I wanted a slightly lower offset to um, still kind of poke out. Um, I'm having an issue with the MRRs right now because... At the height I'm at, it's rubbing up front and it's driving me insane. Easiest way for me to show you how busy I've been these last couple weeks is to let you know that I still have coilovers in the front and H&R springs in the back. I haven't even finished that. So um, hopefully tomorrow I have enough time in the morning uh, to knock that project out as soon as I can. But I've been working like nine to nines for the past month. Um, it's it's been uh, really tough to kind of keep up with both things but now things are settling in uh, for the you know for the first few weeks of really just training at work this should give me enough time to obviously put out a video a week for you guys and then also be able to keep work and uh, you know the real life stuff a hundred percent let me show you the wheels I think you guys are gonna be pretty excited we're going with like a Batmobile look um, so we're going full black on the car. Um, they're all gloss black wheel and they are Audi rotors replicas um, in a gloss black. So I got these off uh, online somewhere, some website and uh, they are 18 by 8 but they are a 35 millimeter offset. So it's kind of like running the 18 and a half with a 42 millimeter offset, if that makes any sense. So I'm hoping that the poke on them is going to be not as aggressive, obviously, as the MRRs, because that, that was way too much for the height that I want to be at um, without rolling fenders. But it's going to poke enough that it's going to look sick. So I'm pretty excited for it. I did give me um, some new wheels. I think they are ball seed again. So we're going back to ball seed as opposed to cone seed. They're pretty well protected. They put this lip thing around it. Check that out. That looks pretty sick. I think this is the best color for the rotors. Um, I, I know a lot of people get the ones that are like right over here. They wrap them or they'll do black here and then silver here. I actually like the full one color. So. Um, that's what I went with and I think it looks pretty darn sick and this is gonna look really good Now one of the things that are really good about these wheels is that they are 66.6 .6 center bore So I won't have to order any more hub rings, which are nice I can actually use the ones that I'm using on the MRR right now and just rock those project Audi V5 has gotten some love as well um, as you can tell I removed some of the stuff uh, some of the trimming because I actually have new ones upstairs that are not broken and they're gonna look much better 
We also added this like lip because I didn't have a front balance on it. One of the best things that I did got done for Project Audi was actually getting the coolant flange done. So I don't have a coolant leak anymore, guys. Um, I still need to do the valve cover though. So that's gonna come next. Um, so stay tuned. We got another video coming up next week showcasing the new wheels. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do an edit of just the wheels um, or how they look, but if you guys wanna see how they look watch out on my instagram which i post right here um and check them out next week because they're gonna be so sick i i like i don't know i have it envisioned in my head how it's gonna look and it's gonna look good so anyways guys thanks for staying tuned um thanks for asking how i'm doing uh because i've missed videos for an entire week sometimes real life comes around and uh you know that always comes first so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for subscribing i think we're reaching like 3500 subscribers now so we're nice steady climbing up even though i didn't put any videos next week uh last week so yeah Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see more regular uploads. Peace out.